Hello and welcome back to another educative session of our Excel Skill Acquisition Series. And I'm sure by now you've been able to complete all the practice exercises under the page layout tab. So today I'll be focusing on the view tab where I lay emphasis on workbook views, show and the zoom groups. So without wasting much time, I'll just go to file and create a, a new blank workbook for this particular exercise. Okay, so I'll just need to come up with some data, uh, name, then probably um, days of the week. So one, two, three. And I'll just use the autofill option. I'll scroll down to about 70. Okay, so let me go to 70. And I'll go back up. So this is fit. So fit. So I'll just do a double click to do an autofill days of the week. So you can do an autofill with the days of the week, Monday. Then once you do an autofill, the system will just fill it up for you okay so looking at this particular worksheet it is being viewed currently in normal mode so once it's in normal mode it becomes very difficult determining if um, whatever you're working on fits on one page or it extends onto another page so for you to know whether what you're doing fits on one page or it extends to other pages you can use the page break preview but you should um, note that we have three default views just found um, right where the status bar is or the status bar is so we have normal page layout and then we have page break so you find all these three here or you can come to the view tab and you still get it here so it's still the same so once i click on page break preview so it tells me that okay so this is page one and that is page two so if this is still not clear to you, you can use what page layout. So once you click on page layout, at least you see the various demarcations. So this is page one. Then as I go through to the next page, this is page two, because you can see add a header, add a footer, indicating the transition from page one to page two, then in the, in the particular order. Then we can also have instances where you want to zoom into a particular block of text or block of cells, which we normally term as range. So assuming I want to present this to a colleague and I only want this to be shown to this particular individual. So I can actually do a customization for the system to zoom into that particular area of my worksheet. So I will just go and use one tool under the Zoom tab, uh, sorry, Zoom group. So once I click on Zoom selection, it zooms to that particular selection. Then I can come and click on Custom Views. Then I'll say Add. So what am I trying to present? Um, okay, um, sales for 50 to 59. Then I'll click on OK. So if I come back and zoom to 100% and I go back to, let's say, sheet one, and I create another sheet two, I create another sheet three, then I just go and click on custom views and I select sales for 50 to 59 and click on show. The system takes me straight to that particular range which I've customized. So this is one way of um, using some of the tools or all the tools under the workbook views and, be, and because it is about viewing looking at different aspects of your worksheet you come to the view tab so once you have this understanding and you're able to navigate easily to the tools that makes you a specialist okay then let's look at um, <clears throat> the show group so under the show group we have ruler grid lines formula bar and headings so whenever you see what i see on top here one inch two inches three inches this is the ruler and this 
also appears in Microsoft Word. So this is what they use to more or less identify where the margins are. So if you want to take the ruler out, it's gone. If you also want to take the grid lines, which is this, out of your worksheet, you click it disabled and it becomes a plain sheet. And then the column headings A, B, C, D, then one, two, three, four. If you don't want it, you take it out. Then it's also gone. Then we have the word formula bar. So if you don't want this formula bar, you tap on it, it also disappears. So these are various ways of looking at your worksheet. So you need to understand them and why you need to do this. Activate and deactivate. That will be totally to your prerogative. So I'll, I'll reactivate them. I'll bring my ruler, I'll bring my grid lines, I'll bring my headings. So if I want to change the margins, instead of going to page layout and doing customization, once the ruler is, is, is active, I can just hold and drag to, to reduce the margins or increase the margins, whichever way you want. So it's a very useful tool if you want to do it manually and you know what you are doing. So it's um, that simple. I can come and do the top. So as you adjust, you get a margins sorted out for you. You don't really have to go to page layout and go to margins and do customizations. Once you, the ruler is active, you can do all the customizations there. So that is for the workbook views and the show group. Then after I finish explaining all the tools, I'll give you practice exercises which will help you um, solidify the understanding of the tools under these particular groups. Then we also have the Zoom. So Zoom basically looks at, looks at magnifying um, the text or the numbers or the items on the worksheet. So if I click on 100%, this is 100% Zoom. But if you want other variations, then you click on it. It opens the dialog box. That is a magnification. Then you can decide to do it by 25%. So this is what we mean by 25%. You can do 50%. You can also do about 200%. So it's totally based on your preference. Or you can come and use the zoom slider to control how it's being zoomed in and out. So that's very straightforward. Then I also demonstrated the zoom to selection. So once you click, it zooms to selection. Let's go back there again. Then you can also do a customization. So I want to do about 400%, then it zooms to 400. I want to see the limits. Let's say 1000. Okay, so it's between 10 and 400. So the maximum you can go is what, 400. So that is that about the zoom group, which is found under the view tab. So let's see how best you can play around with this and become effective and productive in the usage of this application for your work.